Welcome into the Recap Rush Hour for Wednesday. It is the 28th of December. I'm David Kaplan. I hope you're having a great day. It's brought to you by ChevyDriveChicago.com, your Chicagoland Chevrolet dealers. If you need service, head in to your local Chevrolet dealer. All right, let's start with football. Congrats to Cole Komet. He won the Jeff Dickerson Good Guy Award today at Hallis Hall for showing the most professionalism, being the best guy on the Bears in his dealings with the media. As someone who was a very good friend of Jeff Dickerson, and he was a teammate of mine at ESPN 1000, it's hard to believe Jeff's been gone a year now. Uh, but Jeff was as good a dude as they made. And to see Cole Komet win it, well-deserved, because he's also a stud to deal with. Bears also announced that they have released Taco Charlton, the former Michigan standout who has bounced around the NFL, uh, did not impress in limited work with the Bears and has been released from the roster. Texans coach Lovey Smith said, we're focused on wins, not the number one pick in 2023. Lovey, I hope you continue that ridiculously foolish mantra and truly believe it. I don't believe you believe it, but you and Matt Eberflus, you can keep saying it all you want publicly. You're this close to the number one pick that will have far more impact on your franchise and on your roster next year, and you aren't focused on it? Stop yourself. You win with better talent. One win or two wins the last two weeks is not going to have as big an impact on your franchise as a stud at the top of the draft if you get the pick right. So I hope you continue to keep thinking it. Matt Eberflus, don't you dare, don't you dare find a way to get a win out of the next two games. And if Lovey screws up and wins one, you're picking at the top of the draft. Bears and Lions, by the way, in Detroit on Sunday. And how about this story? 49-year-old Terrell Owens, T.O., says he has been in constant contact with the Dallas Cowboys and Jerry Jones about making a comeback if they need a receiver. They had tried to sign Odell Beckham Jr. He's not ready to play. And T.O. said in his workout, he just did a 4-5-40, 4 5 40 yard dash at 49 years of age. We'll see if it happens. Uh, Dolphins Tungo, uh, Tua Tungo Vailoa, day-to-day. He's dealing with his second concussion of the year. Not expected to start when they play the Patriots. Teddy Bridgewater is the backup there. Eagles star right tackle Lane Johnson said he's delaying surgery on a torn abdominal muscle and is going to try to rehab so he can be back to play in the playoffs. That guy is a beast. The Raiders have benched quarterback Derek Carr. Jarrett Stidham will make his first career start. It's his second franchise. He never did start for the New England Patriots. And if you missed it last night, Luka Doncic, 60, 21, and 10 triple-double to rally the Mavs to an OT win over the New York Knicks. Devin Booker gone at least a month with a strained left groin. Corey Kluber to the Boston Red Sox. Hope you had a great day and hope you have a wonderful New Year celebration this weekend. I appreciate you greatly. Take that.